Man, I think if you threw a hanger, it would come back to you, right? Because it looks like a boomerang. But if you threw a hanger, and it didn't come back to you, you could just say, Fuck, I was just mad. Because the thing didn't hang on my coat properly. I don't know about that joke. I have to be honest with you. We have a menu. Every every menu. Uh, every time. Every time we come to this show at the theater, we get a menu and we order food. And uh, this one restaurant we ordered from tonight said pancakes, and it said served with log cabin syrup. Shit, man! I was just about not to get them. <laughs> and I read further, <laughs> and you know, I said, I'll take <laughs> log cabin syrup. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Up in logs got maple in them. <laughs> Hope that fucking cabin was made with maple trees. Because then the syrup would be good. Don't they put a tap into a maple tree to get the ma maple? I want to go to a, like a party, a maple syrup party. Tap the fucking tree, dude! Oh, shit, we got a whole forest. Hope the cops don't come, there'll be a lot of fucking trees that have to cut down and run with. Advil has the candy coating, it's delicious. It's right on the bottle. Do not have more than two. Well, then do not put a candy coating around it. For I cannot help myself. Let me have ten Advil. Got a headache? No, I got a sweet tooth. I give that shit out on Halloween. I got orange juice on my rider. You guys know what a rider is, of course. It's when the town asks for stuff backstage. So you know I asked for a couple things, like a scented candle, maybe a bottle of vodka, some orange juice. You know what I should have asked for? A fucking slide from my hotel room to the backstage area. <laughs> that would have been the best thing. But the orange juice has, is double sealed, like, you know, it has a protective seal. If, you know, you can tell, like, if someone's just fucking with it. Like, you open it up, and you can tell right away, hey, this thing's been opened. Then you open that cap, and underneath there's a foil cap. Now that thing has not been fucked with at all. Now, if the outer cap has been fucked with and the inner cap hasn't been, that means someone was gonna fuck with your orange juice, but then decided not to. <laughs> Do you still drink it? Should I drink shit that was gonna be fucked with? That's a hard question to answer. Because <laughs> just the thought if the guy would have succeeded. <laughs> Alright, I'll throw that joke out. <laughs> you guys have spoken loud and clear. Thanks for your fucking opinion. You know what I like about you guys? You laugh at funny shit and you don't laugh at dumb shit. You're fucking accurate. Hey, there's a balcony. <laughs> yeah, your dude jumped up and said, Whoa. <laughs> well, them sound waves come from up there. I know there's a balcony here, I'm not dumb. I researched this place. The palace, right? <laughs> no, this is a great place, man. I tell you, I tell you one thing though. About uh, the Mississippi, I have a connection with the Mississippi River. I was born in Minnesota. When I was 18, that's right, that's why I left. Cause chicks from there go woo too much. <laughs> but when I was 18, my friend Tim and I, we packed up his car, we moved from Minnesota to Florida. We wanted to move to Texas, but the front end alignment was bad. <laughs> we had a roommate in Florida, his name was Eddie. Eddie was slow on the mental draw. I was writing a letter, I had a problem. I said, Ed, how do you abbreviate Arkansas? He said, I don't know. Just start spelling it, then quit. <laughs> like if you're walking down the street with Eddie and a car pulled up to you, two guys got out with ski masks and guns and said, get in the car, we're gonna kidnap you. Eddie would have said, shotgun. <laughs> I'll be in the back seat with the other kidnapper. Fuck, he called it. <laughs> Last time I called a shotgun, we had rented a limo, so I fucked up. <laughs> Keep straining over here to this side of the thing. I'm gonna try straining over here. That's right, wow, this feels pretty good. There's no X on the stage. Usually they have an X telling you where to stand. But there's no fucking X, so I'm a wayward <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Just a dude looking for an X. See, the only reason I have these drinks on here is because my jokes are written inside. <laughs> I, I, what I do is I, I buy some alphabet soup. <laughs> and then I make sure only the letters of my jokes are in there. 
and then I hope to God that it just happens to spell them out. And I will remember them. A-Z-X, what the fuck? Every McDonald's commercial ends the same way, right? McDonald's commercials end like this. Prices of participation may vary. I want to open a McDonald's and not participate in anything. I want to be a stubborn McDonald's owner. I say, cheeseburgers? Nope. We got spaghetti. And blankets. We're not affiliated with that clown. He attracts too many children. They told us we had to do make sure we didn't go over tonight because they said that uh, that's uh, the because there's two shows that there'll be uh, people outside and they'll get cold. <laughs> Fuck them, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I love how if you <laughs> say fuck someone who's not here, <laughs> absolutely no delay on fucking them. <laughs> now we can't fuck them people, man. I would like to be a, uh, a roofer in a, like, a, like a snowbound area, like an Eskimos, a roofer for the igloo. Come and patch that 